Hey YouTube, this is Rosewood59 here. I just wanted to show you guys um, a video on the sc uh, screen printing press that I built. Um, I know I did plans and stuff, I just wanted to do um, kind of like a review, um, tips and stuff, what I did to make it better for it. First off thing I had to do here was on the arm. I had to um, basically add a half inch uh, to the top here. Um, and that is for because of the allowance of the Lazy Susan here, it gives a half inch. So um, when I put my screen on, my screen was leading more like this, where your screen has to basically stand uh, more even. Uh, so that's what I did with the arm. The measurement for the arm here is what a 2x4 in width is. I believe it's like 3.5. And, and from length, is about 22 and 5 eighths I believe. Um, it just has to be enough so when your screen comes down that you've got a enough room here be, um, between your screw here, um, your offset and everything else onto that and then it's obviously half inch thick and then you have to do the same thing to your platinum and I'll just bring it right down here so you guys can see. So this is basically it. And right here on each end as well, I had to add half inch here. And then half inch on the other side here as well. So as you can see, all I did was just raise it a half inch on each side. And then here you're probably wondering why there's tape here on both sides. Um, it's just a kind of other tip is it was a little bit loose. Um, basically kind of going on here a little bit, but when I put the tape on, I found it, it uh, helped a lot more, uh, kept it from moving. So I'll just kind of show you guys here when I put it on. Sorry about the videotape here. So as you can see here, it just slides nice and nice and straight now, and it doesn't really have much give, give to it. The other thing I found with uh, this, especially when I had my large screens on, um, when this would be down, I found it was easier to have weights. So I just did five pounds on the right side and five pounds on the left side, and it just helps it just to keep it more sturdier. Because I found even with this little piece here that I put, um, this little extra, I don't know, maybe quarter, quarter inch or so, not quite a half inch, maybe a little bit more than that, just so from when you're pushing down here, you can see with the screen. Uh, it helps give it a lot more sturdibility uh, when you got the screen on and the weights just help it keep it from from easily lifting like this basically and the other tip that I'll give you is basically here right underneath the arm when I put down I put a little bit of felt on the side because I found that really helped when I was pu pushing it down here um, as you can see here I was pushing it down it just helps it keeps it more in place because over time with rubbing it kind of got a little bit just a little bit on the side loose but as you can see it's I'm moving it and it ain't going nowhere now so it's just a little more stronger uh, for registration and everything but I've had no problems with registration um, everything has lined up for me and all I did here at the bottom was just put some tape because uh, I found after a while when it was hitting the edges here it kind of lifted up every time time and I did the same thing on the other side here I'll show you and I did the same thing on the other side as well onto that another good tip uh, that I have let me just move this around here again is when you're lining up for your screens um, before you're burning them into the image um, after you put your motion on and uh, your motion is dry for me I put a number one here and number two on my other side. So if I'm doing a two color screen print, I'm going to put a number one for lining up my first color and then I'm going to swing it over and line it up on number two because I did find one of them was just off by I think a 30 second or so. Uh, so for lining up when you line it up here on your platen, if you've got an image here, um, it just was a little bit tricky um, I found. Um, so just make sure you line it up. That's a little tip. At least I found that helped. So if I was doing um, a two color, um, I just made sure that I just knew which screen I put on, number one side and number two side. So when I went to go back and register it, it all lined up perfectly. 
onto that. So that's just kind of a tip just to, if you guys do build it or build your own or um, change things around, that's just a little tip that I found for that. So I just want to give you guys an update and I um, hope you guys, uh, that's pretty much the only things I really added on. Um, I just clamped mine down to a table as well. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe and uh, put comments down. If you guys have any questions, I'll be more than happy uh, to answer them as best as my ability. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.